For slaying my call to throw first, game on. This is the man to beat, MVG. I'm Dan Dawson, Paul Nicholson, alongside me for the opening game of the night. It is Mighty Mike and Super Tech. There's a definite gulf in Euro to a quarter-final experience here, isn't there? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So, with that in mind, Ted's got to settle down and figure out how 55. to play two European tour games in a day for the very first time. And this is just another day at the office for Michael. He is Fourteen. looking to do something, and he has to do it today. He won't have another chance at this, of scoring a 30th European Tour title by the age of 30. He turns 30 on Thursday, so if he doesn't do it today, he's not going to get 30 59. and 30. Oh, 30 under 30 is quite some achievement. One Euro Tour title is quite some achievement. 135. There's only a handful of players who've won more than one. But Ted Everts, very much a player on the up, is second spell as a tour card holder. He was the youngest tour card holder in his first incarnation. And he doesn't have experience. He doesn't have experience of playing in the last eight or beyond in senior darts. But he's got plenty on the development tour and the challenge tour. 42. Maybe that'll help him. He's still number one in the order of merit, isn't he? Even though he wasn't there this weekend. Quite possibly. I would have to check that. I haven't seen the updated list after this weekend. But he's certainly going to be up there because he he won two of them in the opening weekend. 60. Michael, you require 144. Oh, we're used to seeing one four fours from Michael. It's usually after six perfect darts, though. 38. Not on this occasion. And you did make the prediction. Dan, you did say the nine was going to go today. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to side with you. Good. I think it's going to go tonight. Well, look, the way that certain players have played today, there's every chance because Michael Van Gerwen, 106 average earlier, 111 average 89. from Rob Cross. And saw Sulevich defied a ton average from Dave Chisnell to win his game. Double 18. The double 16. 90. Ted, you require 145. If you start from MVG throwing 18 darts and not taking care of business. He's a 60 to leave a double. 65. Michael Lee requires 16. This will anger MVG. Mm. Just looking to crash off those two and into the double eights. Or just stick it in the bottom corner. That'll be. Second leg, ten, two, you won't be happy with that. Game on. And as a result, expect him to try and turn things up a notch now. Yeah, well, he, he flew out the blocks against Stephen Bunting this afternoon and did not stop. 93. Tell you what, Dan, if you're looking for more segments on the dart show, by the way, 59. why don't you have a swimming race? Because MVG would probably win it. I know he's a keen swimmer. He's very good. But at the same time, I'm not sure how many people want to see him in some speedos. 140. I think he's more of a longer, short kind of guy. I don't think he's a budgie smuggler. 58. Well, let's pray that we never find out. Yeah, he used to have little prop bets with some of the guys in Dubai when they used to have the, the Dubai tournament. And I think it was George Noble. They had, a, they had a prop bet to see I who could they be did the fastest have a break, in the swimming yeah. race. And Michael won it very comfortably. Yeah, he's 96. apparently deceptively good in the water, like a seal or a walrus. Now, Ted has a look at the 145 again. Again, he's low on that treble 20. And he's never played Michael Van Gerwen before. And you wonder what he's going through his head. I mean, it's a, it's a free roll for him. Nobody's expecting him to win this. But at the same time, he doesn't want to go up there and get annihilated. He's not going to get annihilated the way that Van Gerwen's throwing. I mean, that first leg wasn't up so much, and he's only halfway down from 5.01 after four visits here. Socks are being pulled up. Watch out. Double six in for Ted. And that's an improvement on the first winning leg, so watch out now. This is where things get a little bit stickier. It's been in the press, isn't it? That thing about the socks pull, pulled up in the last couple of weeks. I think, to be honest with you, I think we've made more of it than it actually is. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, it, it is a thing that he does. 100. 
Yeah, Phil Taylor used to chew his flights, didn't he? Everybody's got their own little idiosyncrasies. You used to fall out with 3,000 people in the hall somewhere. Every player does things different. Got to do something. <laughs> to follow up with myself as well. Well, yeah, I mean, equal opportunities fall out. 140. This is give better us, from MVG, though. Give us your analysis of the Ted Everts throw, because I have to say, in my rather unschooled eye, I think it looks very impressive. What I like about it is it's really rigid. Uh, the, the two focal points for me are that the point where he pokes the dart too. It's that Andy Hamilton like poke mm. forward and the elbow as well. The elbow is very, very level. Tops for MVG and we'll come back to that point about Ted. Ooh, we might be coming back to Ted, Ted with a 170. 170. So watch his elbow. Doesn't dip, which is very important for his throw. Stays up. One more prod in that 60. Ooh, Ooh. that was close. <laughs> he fancied it as well. And why not? He's averaged around about 96, 97 in every game he's played. Now, if he does that in this game and he takes his chances, he's got a chance. Or he could have a chance. There is, you know, Van Gerwen could go and average 115 and smash everybody off the board. But at the minute, he doesn't look like he's about to do that. Not in the early stage of this, because he's averaging 10 points less than Ted. Going back to his throw, if you look at the throwing arm, there's no hyperextension of the arm. It doesn't go... Mad. That's the weird thing with Ted. It, everything looks quite rigid when he's set up, and then the actual seconds. movement of the arm is really smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It just sort of glides through the action. Well, he doesn't have to throw them upwards because he's a very tall lad. And there's just a what really mantra. silky smooth follow through. It reminds me of Rima van Barneveld. I was just about to say that, you know. It really has got that sort of Barney. 85. Just. Caramel smoothness, fluidity. Yeah, I, I just I think it's it's a technique. It looks very straight. It looks like there's no stress. It looks very repeatable. The only thing I've, I've quibbled about Ted in in the past is where he starts messing around with his rhythm and he doesn't get. But all weekend here, he's been giving every single dot the same routine. And when he does that, I think he's more consistent. Yeah, I agree. And he's been consistently averaging 96, 97 all weekend, which is what he's averaging right now. Yeah, and if he watches this back, Ted, don't change this. It's working. So don't be following people like Ricky Evans who don't aim. 60. You have that prod forward, then throw. Stick to that. It works. A quarter final for the first time doesn't lie, 60. won't be your last. Well, there's a smile on Mark Van Gerwen's face here because I don't think he really understands how this is going so poorly for him. I know he's 2-1 up, but he might not be in a minute because double 12 will level the game. And right now, we have the world number one, the best player on the planet, and a 21-year-old who's never been in a senior quarter-final. And one of them is playing much better than the other, and it's not the one you'd think. That's going to do your confidence a world of good. He's going to get starry-eyed. His eyes are going to get like his shirt. Did you watch Super Ted when you were younger? Yeah. 60. Big fan of Super Ted. Not that that actually is Super Ted on the back of his shirt, though, is it? Whoa. Oh, hello. Something similar. Yeah. That was down on the KC Road. I used to watch Banana Man. Yeah, I was a big fan of Banana Man and Danger Mouse as well. But I feel that there are probably more appropriate theatres for that discussion. 100. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> MVG has found his range all of a sudden. And sometimes when he gets... A little bit of a scare and someone's on his tail. It just jolts him back into action. And you just wonder, what would have happened if, if Ted had just been a little bit more competitive on the MBG throw in the first couple of legs where he was trying to break? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's intelligent. Michael's probably going to take this out on double ten. Doesn't. And this is why you do that. That's why you go treble 17 on that shot. It's what MVG would have done. Set up the easier finish. Oh, and he's just short on it. 
170 is so much easier than 164, 161, and, well, not so much 164, but 167, definitely. Michael, you require Two 20. different trebles needed. Absolutely. Game One single double play. 10 needed for MVG to Six get that lead back. Five holds of throw. Well, Michael Van Gerwen has obviously bucked his ideas up in that last leg, but this is far from convincing from MVG. Maybe. I, look, I don't, I don't think he will, because Van Gerwen, as arrogant as 59. some people think he is, certainly is as confident as he is, he is a model professional. He will not be taking anything for granted. He was here early. He was doing his practice work. He was hitting the board. And he knows better than anyone how to prepare so he can perform in these evening sessions, these final days of Euro Tours. But is there a little thing where he says, well, this guy's never been in this situation. I'm just going, my experience will tell. And shots like that will really hurt him. And what's the betting when he comes back to the board? He goes for another 171. He knows what he wants from 442. Mm. It's not an accident. 16. I wouldn't be shocked if he goes 19s again. He's looking down and he's going there again. Back to back 171s. Yeah. 133. Well, I did have a word with him yesterday saying, come on, Michael. We've got three nine daughters this year, three different ones. There's been five this year from these two. Mm, yeah. Quite the performance. Or oh, performance says. Oh, what a maximum this would be. Well, it Mike does mean that he only needs one games. treble if he's allowed back. But it's more treble 19s for Van Gerwen. Does he like the lie? Is he a bit concerned? That's why he's moving. Yeah, you can see by the way that deflection acted when it hit the first dart. It just sat down and skewed to the right a little bit. Now, has Ted got this number? Should stay there, surely. Michael, you require 32. Number 16, then, for the first break of throw. Needs to move again. Wasn't comfortable there. You'll Game feel it now, though. Play. It's an excellent break Michael of throw from MVG. I was just going to say, I had a, so an indirect chat with him. I, I relayed a message to his brother, Harold, who was here with him this weekend. I said, Mike's had three nine daughters this week. One and he's on another one. <laughs> He's done three different ways, of course, and said, come on, you've got to do it this way. You've got to do 174, 174, 153. No one's ever, ever done that before. And Harold's face... Oh, I'm looking forward to telling him that. <laughs> there is Harold nice on the right-hand right. side. Yeah. Goes to the same barber. 43. <laughs> nice bloke. Follows him everywhere. And... Make sure that he's as comfortable and as happy as possible to perform. You need people with you on the road. It's very important. 140. It's a lonely game if you do it by yourself. You need friends around you, family. People who look after 59. your best interests. Positive people. Who is your positive person when you're on the tour? Webster, Mark Webster. He was just constantly making me laugh. James Hubbard as well, when I was rooming with him, he was just barking mad. He used to drive me nuts. He'd never finish a drink. He'd always drink half of it and get another one. Just the little things that you learn from other people. 43. Exasperation from MVG. Just get the feeling he's, he's inviting Ted back into the game well, with visits like that. A ton 40 here leaves tops for a break of throw. And he's going to get it. 140. Oh. Ted Everts, he's two out of three on his doubles. He's averaging more than 97. He's been like that all the way through this game. Van Gerwen has upped his level 40. for a couple of legs to get this lead. And now it's just kind of dropped off a bit again. Keep the line. Change the power. That hand's a bit shaky. He said he was nervous earlier. No score. Michael, you require 36. I think he was a bit nervous about going low. 
5-2 MVG coming in, in and it is. Well, the scoreline says 5-2, but it does not feel like a 5-2 game, does it? MVG, he, he blitzed Stephen Bunting this afternoon. Yesterday, I thought Christoph Ratajski was a little bit unfortunate because I thought he was, he was matching MVG right the way through that game and he only lost out 6-4, despite averaging over a tonne. Here, Ted Everts has been way ahead in the averages all the way through this match, but they've just been those little moments. The little moments, the three darts missed there. He's been sat on doubles and not allowed back to the board. 59. It's a horrible feeling sometimes when you know he's there for the taking. Yeah. And well, we've seen it many times. He's won 29 of these Euro Tours, and in many of them, there have been, there's been a game like this where he's averaged in the low 90s or the mid 90s. And you just think, well, that was your chance. Somebody had a chance to knock MVG out. And if they don't do it, you don't 92. get another chance. It might be under an eight averages from there on in. It's kind of weird to see him do this in a quarter final, I have to say. Yeah, he's usually really 60. strong in quarter finals. You got to, if you're going to catch him, you've got to catch him early in the second round or the afternoon session on the final day but they could still you know the way that they're throwing Ted Evitz could get back in this oh, oh lovely wonderful wonderful settle just imagine the scenes he gets it to 5-5 <laughs> he's looking to the mirror him there well he missed three at tops in the last leg and he's putting him in the same place Now, Michael Van Gerwen, last time around half to score. Yes. No. Very, very close, though. Different way of going. Didn't go that way when he won his Grand Prix, which was a 1-4-5 conventional way of 60-45 tops. But tens for Ted. Fives is good. Still in it. Still got a chance. Well, the young man from Southam in Warwickshire is still in this quarter-final. Reminder, he's first in senior darts and taking on the best player on the planet and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Look at this. Look at this. Ted Everts, that's his first 180. I'm going to got a couple, but without question, Ted Evans has outscored MVG in this match. He has had 11 scores of 140 or more. Van Gogh's only had six. Nobody is going to want to play Ted Evans next week. 99. Oh, just, oh, sorry. I'll retract that. This week. Because he will be playing on Friday in Saarbrücken. 96. And right now it's looking like a bit of a demon draw. This is a man who, as I say, was the youngest tour card holder when he first got his card. He wasn't able to keep it after his 94. first two years. So he had to take a step back to take two steps forward. Otherwise known as a Desvan. Well, exactly. 95. I was about to make exactly Ted the same comparison. And who's to say that Ted Evitz can't go and do something special at a big TV tournament, go and qualify for, say, the European Championship. Another one in there, Ted. For double ten. And Ted Evans might well be coming back into this. Listen to that. Ten leg, ten to from this game on. Three words for you. Back on throw. At any point, Van Gerwen could fire in an 11, 10, 9 data. You know that. But Ted Evitz is giving himself a chance. He has broken the Van Gerwen throw for the first time in the match. And 32. look at this from MVG. He's there. He is there for the taking. Best leg of the match, that, the 12 data. He's had the two highest checkouts in the match. Van Gerwen's not finished anything. Any checkout higher than 36 in this game. 61. It's 
becoming infectious. Those little misses. That 1 2 8 is a very difficult shot when you get the treble 18. You're forced to get another treble for the double. He's still there for the taking, is Michael. And like you said earlier, Dan, he's got to stay straight. Just getting a little bit edgy now. 59. Look at that. He's telling the board to come on. Well, this is... Who is this person? This is not the same man in green that we saw this afternoon. This is a sub-90 average right now for MVG. And Ted Everts, look, he may well play Michael Van Gogh in dozens and dozens of times over the years to come. He may not have a better chance of beating him. That's a good 97. That gives him a lead of 102. I can't remember the last time I saw MVG over 300. Well, look at that. That's a nine dots, yeah. yeah. Similar first nine, but look at those. He's just having so many visits without even hitting a treble, MVG. Crowder helping Ted now. Wow! Big score! Big chance to hold, to take this all away. And you've got to say that Evans is the favourite. This is astonishing. Two darts. He only needs one. And Super Ted Evans in his first ever clash with MVG. In his first ever senior quarter final. He's in a one leg shootout. 79. And still the shotgun, scattergun, unfocused stuff comes from the world's best player. He said it, hasn't he? He's not a robot. He is sometimes fragile. He's a human being. 60. Sometimes we need proof of that. Great first start. Great second. Great third. That's fantastic from MVG. You have to say, over the last couple of legs, he's been searching for something. And to find that under this pressure is magnanimously brilliant. Can he hit back? He can to an extent. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen. Where has this come from? It's just, it's such a bizarre performance from MVG. He is just about dragging his average over 90. I'd be very interested to hear his thoughts, providing he gets over the line. Oh. Ted looking for that 1-3-1 to leave 170, and it's six starts from here for MVG. He may only need three. And he does get the job done. That is a massive, massive let-off for Michael Van Gerwen. Ted Everts has averaged 97 all the way through this weekend. It was good enough to win his opener against Mark Wilson. It was good enough to see off the ferry. It was good enough to beat the two-time Euro Tour finalist Ricky Evans. And it was not very far away from being good enough to pick up a famous win against the world number one.